Hello and a warm welcome, I'm Richard Kaufman. It's finals day at the Sky City New Zealand Badminton Open. The crowd have been arriving here at the North Shore Event Centre in Auckland, in the country's largest city, for what is the highest ranked badminton event ever to be held in New Zealand. So this is where we are, all the way down there in New Zealand, in Auckland, just north of the centre of the city. And this North Shore Event Centre anticipating what should be five fabulous matches. Of course, this has uh, just received Grand Prix Gold status this year. A prize purse of $120,000 that will be distributed to the winners and runners up today. So this is what we've got lined up for you today. Start off with the mixed doubles and all Chinese affair. Then watch out for her, Bing Zhao. Surely going to start favourite against Saina Kawakani in the women's singles. Lee Hunil, can he do it at the age of 35? He's up against Chao Bin. And then it's Fukushima and Hirota who are trying to stop the women's doubles pair of Xiao Huan and Zhong Jiansin. And then men's doubles, the 19-year-old Indonesian pair, Faja Alfin and Mohamed Ardianto up against the Chinese Huang and Zheng. So that's what's on offer. Should be a terrific affair, shouldn't it? And these crowds certainly looking forward to it. Not quite yet to fall, but people arriving all the time for what is the third staging of this Sky City New Zealand Open, but as I said before, the first time at Grand Prix Gold level. Event six of the Grand Prix Gold calendar as well. Of course, last time we're in China for the China Masters. Next up on the Grand Prix Gold stage will be the New York Open. But right now we're focused on this, the New Zealand Open. So uh, everyone from the VIP areas to the cheaper seats, looking forward to this New Zealand Open. I'm Richard Kaufman alongside one of uh, New Zealand's double specialists, Oliver Layden-Davis. And uh, Oliver, as the officials start to make their way out ahead of this first final, really, we have got a lot to look forward to here this afternoon. Yeah, I think there's five quality matches on display this afternoon, reflective of the first time that a Grand Prix Gold event has, has held and been held in New Zealand. We've got an all-Chinese affair initially in the mixed doubles, which is been their younger group coming through and they've been performing really well not only in this tournament but this year as well so the future of Chinese badminton is looking bright yeah we've got a nice mix obviously with some very Ladies and established stars the mixed and then doubles some young final. Guns. and that includes in this the mixed doubles pairings as I say an old Chinese affair Zheng Siwei and Chen Ching Chen the two teenagers who have won everything at junior level they're the ones in the pink up against Wu Xiaoyu and Xie Huan, who will be in the blue. So there's Zheng Siwei. He's 18, but he's older than his uh, female partner, who is uh, only 17, Chen Ching Chen. Here she is in another final. Two wins already this year for this day. Time for a pre-match photo with the uh, match officials. Jean-Philippe Berge and uh, you know, your shot there, Justin Zirk. So things set up nicely, Oliver. First of all, this, this mixed doubles match, an all-Chinese affair. Both saw off Indonesian pairs yesterday. They know each other very well. They practice against each other a lot, but this is their first time meeting in competition. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that unfolds. Obviously, both pairs have been in great form this week with Jian Yu knocking out the second seeds from Singapore in the first round, and then uh, their opposition, Zeng and, and Chen, beating the top seeds from Indonesia yesterday in the semi-final. So your umpire there, Jean-Philippe Berge of uh, New Caledonia, doing the uh, pre-match wrist draws, the uh, toss of a coin to decide who's standing, which side of the court, who's uh, first. It doesn't really matter, does it? Not, not today, not in here. It's uh, perfect conditions for play, and uh, yeah, but I think it'll bring the best out of both sides. Because if this was a, an arena that had a lot of drift, then you would want to be a certain end, wouldn't you? Absolutely, yeah. You'll see certain players do different things. Um, 
based on the wind or the draft and depends if the drift's going sideways then it's okay but if it's from one end to another there can quite often be a, a preferred end to start the match well they are seeded number five shannon chen despite their age obviously being a scratch pairing Ooh, and a share unseeded but yeah, it's going to be a tough one to call when uh, you train against one another lot you know each other's strengths you know each other's weaknesses you know what to exploit but then so do the opposition don't they and uh, look at this young girl chen Jing chen what a talent she is 17 years of age the current world and asian junior champion in mixed doubles with jean chien sin who's uh, in the final of the women's doubles later they're not paired together here this week but she is some prospect isn't she you can see they're already ranked 50 together in the world despite the fact this is only their sixth tournament together they've won twice yeah with a career win loss of 16-3 already it's a looking forward to a pretty good future from from these two well and you bear in mind what she's won at junior level as well it uh, has been an extraordinary rise and this is how they've got here tough match yesterday uh, against the uh, Indonesian pair of uh, Ricky Widianto and uh, against Dilly, but they came through 21-11. Uh, Widianto got a red card in that match, by the way, for some misconduct. That was in the final game, so no surprisingly, they came through that pretty comfortably in the end. Yeah, that's a, a great result for them, especially at such a young age, to beat a pair that's been top 15 in the world for, for a consistent period now. Jinxi Wei, one of the senior partner at the age of 18. And obviously uh, the stats there are all very similar, but he's also done pretty well at junior level, won the Asia junior title in last year alongside Huang Kaixiang, who we'll see later in the men's doubles as well. So there's obviously uh, a feeling within the Chinese camp that these two that we've just seen have a, a great future ahead of them. As for this, well, the, these are the senior twosome, even though they're the scratch pairing. So more experience at this kind of level but obviously not together can they finish their first tournament as a pair with a victory i think that's a real possibility yeah the, the form we saw them show yesterday in the in the semi-final against the indonesians keto and tears of adaya uh, they were they were clinical they were dangerous from the back line Xiaohuan very dangerous on the net as well so it's yeah, the future looks bright for them as well, even though they're a scratch pairing. Well, Sharp is particularly the experienced one, isn't she? 23 years of age, but, you know, she's already won a lot of tournaments at super serious level. We're going to see her later in the in the women's doubles as well, partnered with Zhang Xian Sing in match number four against the Japanese pair. As you can see, as you said Ladies yesterday, excellent against the brother-sister right, combination. Yu they can do that again today. They're going to be Xia tough to beat. Huan, China. And on my left, Cheng Suwei, Cheng Qingcheng, China. <laughs> you shall you to serve to Cheng Suwei. Love all. Play. The Sky City New Zealand Open finals are underway. It's mixed doubles first, an all Chinese affair. And the first point goes to the teenagers. Service over. One love. No. Hey. Service over. Oh. One all. Ah. Yeah, when you have these uh, affairs, when obviously they've been practicing together all week ahead of the final not knowing they would meet in the final obviously hoping they might you normally see quite close affairs don't you because the rallies can be longer although the first three points haven't suggested that have they yeah i mean it, it does depend how well they know each other if they do know each other extremely well sometimes you can see shorter rallies because people just know know what's coming but i think key for this afternoon will be xia huan if she can take and use her experience to take the net and control that over chen and They'll much likely come out better off. Well, her serve just now coming up short. Nice 
nice power from the back of the court for Zheng. Three, two. You played mixed doubles a lot. Are you trying to get the players out of position? Normally, obviously, it's the woman at the front. As you can see, Cher, they're trying to move to the net. And the, the guys at the back, so obviously, over. with the more power. Are you Three, trying to work them four. out? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, uh, against any mixed doubles team, they're most dangerous when the girls are at the front. So if you can put her on the back line, it's much easier to defend and also be able to counter-attack at the same time. So it's, it's all... It's chess, in a way. I thought it was badminton. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know Physi you Physical mean. version. <laughs> Four. Three. Oh. No, I mean, when, once you've got the girl at the back line, you've, you've often got a lift as well, so it's a matter of being able to keep the lift and then actually turn it around so you can get the girl at the net and the increased power of the guy at the back. Well, for Ooh, bound to be uh, some Five, nerves. Three. Yesterday he looked very comfortable in the semi-final, but you know, bear in mind he's not had much experience at international level. This is only his fifth tournament, third of this year. The other three, despite the fact they've got a 17 and an 18-year-old at the other end, they do have more experience at this level. Uh, yeah, that just puts it wide there. That's crazy when you put it like that, that a, a 17 Six, and an 18-year-old have more experience at this level. But I think from <coughs> from you and Xia yesterday, they were quite comfortable and straight away they're under a bit more pressure today. So it'll be interesting to see how he can respond. I mean, this pair is Chen and Zheng. I mean, the China opened their first Super Series event together. They beat Tintoi Ahmed and Liliana Natsir together. I mean, that's how good they are. Well, that's how good their potential is as well. Yeah, it's crazy to be able to beat Seven, the number two, three, three in the world at, at 17 and 18 in your first tournament together. I mean, wow. Well, they only lost in the quarters to Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei in the semis, but they took the opening game 22-20 in that as well. So that was against the Olympic and world champions. Does that make them favourites today? Well, I mean, you would say so. Over. I mean, Four, but I think you're seven. right in what you point out in terms of not him necessarily, he's the one with the nerves here, but Cher at the front of the court, if she can dominate the net, I think they've got a chance. Otherwise, yeah, I do make the teenagers favourite. Ah! Yeah, well read there from you. Five, he uh, realised that Chen could only play that one short and came forward with, with good pace to draw the cross-court winner. Just uh, six, seven. A little tense that shot from Zheng. Very early stages, pretty even start. <laughs> Service over. Eight. Six. Crowd love a little power, a lot of power, don't they? Got it there. Ah. Oh, that's an excellent touch from Chen. Obviously, Nine, with Zheng, so much power at the back. The other two were pretty deep, weren't they? And that's why she was allowed to exploit that gap. Yeah, it was nicely disguised as well. Impressed by what you've seen so far? Definitely, especially from Chen. She's really not letting Shua get anywhere close to the net. Ah! That was easy pickings. Uh, you can see teammates asking. <laughs> Ten, a little bit six. of an apology. I mean, that seems standard fare, isn't it? It's about a little bit of respect and sportsmanship. Yeah, that's, that's what it's mainly about. Is I wouldn't. I don't think it hurts. What to apologise or actually hurt from, from, from the shuttle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, another Eleven, easy picking for Jen, and it's quite a good lead. 
that the teenagers have established here very early part of course of this final but Zheng Wen and Chen Ching Chen already 11-6 to the good yeah they've just been too good in the front front two-thirds of the court early on I think you've seen Chen like I said before as just dominating the net there's no way that Jack can can get in there and We've seen you smash maybe once or twice in, in the 11 point period so that's going to have to change if they want to get back in this match thing they got on their side these two is they'll be aware that they're playing an inexperienced duo now if you look at the matches already that chen uh chen ching chen and jing si wei have already played they've let lead seconds. slip they did it yesterday in the uh semi-final in the quarter final they had two match points ended up losing the second game to uh the top seeds uh, as well yesterday they will ended up 11, losing that second game 22 six. 20 so if they can maybe Play. put them under a bit of pressure maybe they they might well given the fact that you know this is a another big final for them so young as well from share that because they didn't Seven's look favorites to win that point did they Seven. no Eleven. there was, a, there was a, yeah just a bit of a clear exchange going on but between the girls and then jar played one a little bit too far down the middle allowing huang to get back there and, and get the offense but did very well to turn it around good I can see why he was leaving that it looked for a little while as if it was gonna 11. head out but the fact there's no drift in this court at all it just landed right on the line good rally though the rallies are starting to to pick up a pace now aren't they got away with that I think you I see what he's Nine. trying to do. He doesn't want to spend Eleven. too much time on the defensive, but you to be a little bit careful with shots like that, especially against the pair that have the results and the resume already that Cheng and uh, Zheng have. Yeah, have a decent response, though, from uh, Yuan Xie since the interval. They've won the three points since the resumption. Defensive shot was exactly what he was after, but Cross Court Slicer might have been a little ambitious. 12, hey. nine. And of course, being an all Chinese affair, there's no coaches, is there, for this? Obviously, that won't be the case when we have all the other finals, but hey. just basically got to rely on one another. Yeah, absolutely. They're almost they left to their own, own devices to, to fight this one out. So I'm sure it'll be an interesting one for the coaches, for their coaches to watch as well. They can sit back and, and see how the match changes and, and develops as it goes on. a decent start from who and share after the interval but the leads back to five points again now service over 10 
just long. Another really good rally. 11-14. Well, what a really good way to start the afternoon's finals. This is proving to be this uh, mixed doubles match. Really seeing a fine array of shot making, aren't we? Yeah, I think both pairs are really starting to get into this match now. You see in that rally from, from Jao, there's a real intent to try and move forward and take over. She hasn't been allowed to do that by Chen yet, but she's making a real effort to do that now. Well, there they are. Have to stick on to the sidelines. They're not allowed in the corner. Well, there's enough coaches around. I suppose they could have one each corner, but it's not the way it's done. Hey! Service over. 15-11. You know, you, you come to these events and obviously 16, it's a Grand Prix 11. gold level. You're not seeing the highest ranked players in the world, but you're seeing kind of the level below. And sometimes you get to see players hey. that in three, four years time will be amongst the top five in the world. And you just get the feeling, what, I don't know about you, Oliver, watching these two in pink at the other end, that, you know, maybe we're seeing some somebody of that quality here. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, they've, they've proven already that they can compete 17. with... 11. Top five pairs in the world have taken sets off Zhang Nan, Zhao Yanlei, they've beaten Ahmad Natsia already at the tender age of 17 and 18. It's, it's scary to think how good these guys might, might end up being. And there's a maturity there. For example, you know, that shot just now from uh, Zheng at the back 18, of the court. So easy for 11. him to just rip through it and, and smash it. But he had the, you know, the knowledge of his game to think, no, that's not the right time. Let's mix it up. <laughs> nice response there, though, from Wu. But you don't often see that, do so you, when players are that young? No, well, it's just he has this, this air of confidence and uh, just inner confidence about him that yeah, you're able to play a shot like that and just know that it's going to be okay and you can get the next one um, and still keep the offense as well. Oh, excellent. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, Zheng and, so and Chen over. doing a really good job here of just exposing 19, a scratch pairing. 12. There's a lot of empty space in the front court and they seem to be finding it quite a lot. And that's something when you haven't played together much before, you don't know how each other moves and what they're going to cover after after they play certain shots. And you're talking from experience, your last three events have been with new partners, haven't they? <laughs> yep, that. that's very true. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they've had a few 20, matches now this week to, you know, to find 12. a rhythm together, but here they are in this final now facing eight game points against them because we are seeing some wonderful badminton from the teenagers, Zheng and Chen. Quite happy just to push Jia around the back. It was well left by Shea. But it's uh, a case of winning this game. Well, if, if that's the uh, scoring at the, uh, so that we can see, correction. it actually given so them the over. game, but not yet. 13, All in good time, 20. though.
So when you're at, like, at the moment for sharing, 20, I suppose there's a, a remote chance you can get back into the game. It's very unlikely. Is it just trying to build confidence now? Yeah, I guess that when you're in a situation where you've got, where you started with eight match points, uh, game points, sorry, against you, you want to try and get at least two or three, and you can get a little bit of momentum heading into the start of the second. But that's Go where ahead. it ends. And you have to say, it's been a wonderful performance from Chen Ching Chen and her partner, Zhen Si Wei. They've taken that first game very convincingly against their compatriots. 21 points to 14. It's, it, it, it's just a, a mature, convincing, excellent performance, isn't it, from two very young players that we saw in that opening game. I agree, yeah. Mature really is the word. It's in the mixed doubles that they're playing this afternoon. I think we see from Chen just not giving Xia any opportunities to come forward and, and take the net. And as a result, they're doing the majority of the attack. And then it's it also also mature from from Zeng is he's able to just control. He's very patient on defence, which we're not seeing from from you. He always wants to play these little chip shots into the mid court that are still going up, and he's he's playing with fire a little bit there. Whereas Zeng's just happy to give the lift up, keep Zia on the back line where she where he knows that they're not going to be that dangerous. Well, we're going to see uh, her big Chow in the women's singles in, in a little while. I'll tell you, she's some talent as well. Although, obviously, we'll just see how it pans out in her final against Saina Kawakami. But we already know there's been a, certainly a theme established already in the mixed doubles final. Can Wu Xiaohu and Xie Huan retrieve the situation? Can they put some pressure on the youngsters in the way that Ricky Widiano and Pospita Diddy were able to yesterday? Before, obviously, red card issues came along. Seconds. 20 seconds. What if they maintain this? The standard Zheng Siwei, Chen Ching Chen, it hard on the isn't it, to see a reversal of fortunes hit. Play. Play. Yeah, it's been very clinical so far. That's all right. Play. Good start for you and you are there though. Service over. One love. Ah. Ah. Ah, hey. Service over. One all. Nick Cordaire going the Service way over. of you and Jia. Two, one. Now it's been given us out. Service over. Oh, it was a close one, wasn't it? It was touch and go, yeah. You thought it was going to be in, I think. Three, two. Gaining Two. an advantage in this second game, Zheng and Chen. Five. Two. A bit of frustration from you when you put that in the net. Well, obviously, you know, if, if, if they practice together, they train together. These two, they must be very aware of what we're seeing here right now, is that there's some talented badminton at the other end of the court. Absolutely, mate. I think 
and that's probably what's causing a little bit of frustration. They know that they probably have beaten them in training, in training matches, and they know that they can maybe get closer than, than what the score is at the moment. Six, two. Because it really is one-way traffic. Yeah, and we're at the stage now in the, in Seven, the match where, two. even though it's uh, not, not long on court, 21 minutes, you, you kind of know where the prizes are going here. You never know, I suppose. It's Sport has a funny way of throwing up big surprises, but it would be a huge surprise if Jen and Chen didn't go on from here and take the goal. Although, a little, little bit of luck goes against them. <laughs> then it could Three, throw things a, a little bit back towards uh, our opponent's favour. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the bit, bit of luck to win that point, but I like that from you, it's the, a different return of service, give it away, put Zhang on the back line, create a bit more space, and some luck again. Uh, another, another little net, net cord that goes their way. Four, You've got to hang in there seven. and see what happens. Spits there, didn't he, Jen? Yeah. This time the net called Dingo their way. Service so over. Eight, four. Eight, four. Yeah, well watched. And uh, Nine, yeah, Chen, just four. so quick, wasn't she, to pounce there. Why are the first three shots in these rallies so important then? They, they always say that about doubles. Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's such a situation where you can a oh, great shot there from from Zua, but if you can come out of the first three Sounds in an offensive over. position uh, then you're much more likely Five, to win the rally is there was a stat released i think it was men's doubles but there's a bit of crossover there that 80 percent of the time the side that gets the attack first uh will win the rally so if you can come out of that on top in the first three um, then you're much more likely to win oh. the point Service over. Ten. Can't five. afford that at this stage, can they? Not a game down and now five, ten down. Great shot there from Jar defensively. Sitting look from Chen, ten. but they're not gonna get hot under the collar, are they? With the score line like it is right now. Chen and Chen, so good there. Gives them the interval lead, 11-6. Yeah, we're just seeing a lot more, a lot more control and it, just a half a pace ahead all the time from from Jing and Chen. They're just into position that little bit faster than Jia and Yu at the moment, and that's allowing them to to control more. Especially Jing, he's more controlled and more composed of the of the two men on court Chen, this afternoon. Chen. We see you rushing forward sometimes, 
leaving spaces behind him to that Zhao has to go back and, and cover, whereas we don't see that uh, with Zheng and Chen. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Ah, they're enjoying it, aren't they? Yeah, it seems like someone's been coming around and giving out the, the extreme uh, crowd banger, so expect the atmosphere to heat up a little bit in here. Eleven six. Play. Well, surely they are going to go on from here. It would be a, a third tournament win in only their sixth tournament together for Zheng Siwei and Chen Jing Chen. And a game up, six point lead in the second game. Twelve, I think they're going to be denied. 50% strike ratio, that'll be. That's not too bad a start to. Uh, a career together. Writing's on Six. the wall for sure now. And of course, uh, at least a chance later on for Cher to still come away with gold. Of course, she's in the women's doubles later. 15 6. showing off now yeah oh, there's an exa another example though of you just trying to do a bit too much and 16 really six. trying to, to get the offensive and just ended up putting his partner in even more trouble Seven points in a row. <laughs> Saw it coming, didn't she? Yeah, it's just far too easy for, for Chen that. She, she's 18, there waiting for it, and you put it cross court right into a racket. Coming rather easy for them now. 19 6. Resistance well and truly broken, these two. The beaten pair. Five. And there are match points. Match points. 30 minutes is Six. all it's taken to bring them. And 14 match points at that. <laughs> There was a bit of disgust about the way we played that. Seven, twenty. Maybe one thing you can talk about with them after the match. <laughs> That's delaying the inevitable, isn't it? Eight, twenty. It really is. It's been, been very clean and, and very clinical this afternoon from <laughs> Cheng and Zheng. Well, they've been 
the teenage sensations, Jane. haven't they? Quite brilliant performance from Zhen Siwei and his partner Chen Ching Chen from start to finish. They just looked unbeatable. There were no answers at all for Mu Xiaohu. That's won by Chen Siwei, Chen Ching Chen, 21-14, 21-8. 21, 14, 21, 8. It doesn't come much more comprehensive than that in a final. They're the New Zealand Open champions. Well, we, we, we said it all pretty much, Oliver, in the match. That was uh, a classy, you know, top class performance, wasn't it, from these two? It really was. The, they, yeah, they showed why they can compete um, with the best pairs in the world and an incredible maturity, I think. An understanding of, of mixed doubles from the pair that are such so, of such a young age. And one would assume they can only get better. That's a scary prospect, isn't it? It really is. If, if yeah, you're winning Grand Prix golds finals like that in that, that sort of comfortable fashion. You've already had success against the best pairs in the world, and like I said, yeah, 17 and 18. They've got a long and prosperous career ahead of them. Well, they won the Bitburger Open in, in October. That was their first tournament together as a pair this year they've already won the china international challenge and now they've won the new zealand open so that's three victories in six events together it's a very impressive strike rate already and they're going to get used to having to collect some prizes aren't they over the coming months and years if they can maintain and maybe even improve on that standard So obviously we're waiting for the uh, players to come out and get their prizes. And Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the presentation for the Mixed Doubles Final at the Sky City New Zealand Open. Our presenters, Geraldine Brown, President Oceania Badminton, Vice President, Badminton World Federation, and Nigel Skelt, Vice President, Oceania Badminton, and Chair of the Marketing Committee, Badminton World Federation. Our runners-up in the mixed doubles. Please welcome from China, Yu Xiaoyu and Jia Huan. And our winners of the mixed doubles from China, Sheng Siwei and Chen Sheng Chen. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners of the mixed doubles here at the Sky City New Zealand Badminton Open. Well, a third tournament title together and the third of many more to come, you feel, don't you? Fantastic display from the teenage duo, Cheng Shi Wei and Cheng Ching Chen. Are ready to talk to Stephen right now. Let's hear from him. How quickly that final went. They never imagined that it could be so fast. And but but they did a good a preparation for the tough game. Cheng, uh, right from the start, it looked like the game plan was just to try and dominate right from the start. Thank you, and, and he, he, he will, she will uh, fight, fighting and uh, keep going. Does it, does it feel good? Very good. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well, every reason to be uh, absolutely pleased as punch.
Uh, some, some, some nice rallies in there, weren't they? But there was too much, really, uh, for Wu Xiaoyu and Xie Huan, as you say, they, they were made to look like a scratch pairing, Oliver, in that in that first final. Yeah, it's, it's difficult when the pace increases in, in a final match, and they can really expose a, a scratch pairing and their, and their positioning together. Well, they had some, some good patches and some bits of promise, but Jing and Chen were just too classy in all areas. We always knew that the mixed doubles was going to go China's way. Just didn't know which Chinese pair, but now we know. Zheng Si Wei and Cheng Ching Chen. They had a lot to celebrate.
Well, yeah, nice view, wasn't it, from uh, the North Shore Event Centre, looking over uh, downtown Auckland. And that's where we are for this New Zealand Open. The Sky City New Zealand Bamberton Open, and we've had one final down, four to go. We know the mixed doubles has gone to the teenagers of Zhang and Chen. Is another teenager about to win the next? Well, the answer is yes, because we've got two of them in the women's.